Hi, my name is Inka Essenhai, and this is my painting, Spring 2006. It's a depiction of spring that has happened so suddenly uh, that it's, it's happened instantaneously. And this person who is walking through the uh, forest still is wearing his winter coat, and he's just whistling along. A lot of the time people say, oh, a lot of your work looks like it was made underwater and there's these, you know, these flowing forms and, uh, and the people look like they're flowing and, and they're all kind of a, just a big ball of energy. Uh, and it's just because it was literally started off with brushes that were just making this world that I was trying to fashion into, later was going to be fashioned into something. Then I just paint out of my head and I think that a lot of times uh, the work looks uh, like it was um, that it's related to fantasy art because it is made up out of my head. I rarely went and looked at anything, uh, what, what something actually looked like. This is also the beginnings of, uh, you know, before with, with a lot of automatic painting when I'm just, you know, coming up with forms, I would try to see them through to the end. And sometimes they would be like, uh, they would be kind of ugly images that would pop out at you, um, uh, ugly little goblins that, that, that I would have to live with for a few months while I was painting them. And, uh, and I would say to myself, um, this, is, this, is, this is our culture, this is the world I live in. And this is sort of one of the beginnings of me realizing that maybe I don't need to take whatever comes out of my imagination and, and be okay with that. In fact, maybe I can start to form the world that I want to live in. I, I think that my work is really approachable, really um, pretty, it's a, it's a direct experience and you don't need to know anything about artwork as you don't any time that you walk into a gallery. It really is about a, an experience I hope that, that, that you have a sense of pleasure. I hope that a viewer could take away is that they would actually find more magic in their own everyday life.